Okay, it's like the third stream in a fucking row. This this razor mic's actually about to end up in fucking traffic. Like, Ooh. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, I'm not doing that to do a bit. Like, it just does that randomly on its own for no goddamn reason. All right. But anyway, we're back. We're not where we left off. Because... Hand pigeon. <laughs> Hand pigeon. Hey, Yoshi. Um... I lost my train of thought completely. We're, we're not, not where we started. We're not where I left off last time because, uh, everyone in our merry band of misfits here has their full skeleton except for Megalo and Patchy. So I figured let's grab those first before we move on. Patchy's arms are somewhere in here, uh, potentially. And then Megalo is in River Ravine. So I figure might as well. So it'll be another hour before we get into plot. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, that's a distinct possibility. Oof. I am working I mean... on more projects. I am crocheting like a mad person. I've already been crocheting for hours. While binge watching shows. It's great. Fuck. It happens. You yeah. know, it happens. Well, I mean, it's just like... It's just so relaxing... And it's also kind of repetitive, but that's kind of good to calm my mind down. It's really weird. Right. Um, why the fuck is this entire... Um, hold on. Sorry, guys. Uh, I cleaned the game room, which means now nothing is where it was before, so now I need to reorient everything because I'm trying to move the table Ooh, here. careful with that. I know. It's just, it's... Just plugged into the TV. So, how are you? Not bad. Since uh, I'm playing Fossil Fighters, how can I be? A, how could I be having a bad time? I've had a good day. Uh, this morning, I remember waking up from a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. As as it as it happens, as it happens. How are you doing, Yoshi, my dude? There we go. That might be it. I'm pretty sure there's more than one Earth Vivasaur in the Diga Diga mid, but I could be a, I could be completely Diga. Wrong. Dig a damn wrong. Cause it could be it could just be dig a dumb. Dig a dumb. I'm strung out. Oh, what happened? What happened? You okay? Oh, there's a blip. Watch his head again. Couple blips right there. Dark fossil rock. Son of a bitch, there we go. Lexo, yeah, see, so it could be a Lexo part. I don't even remember which one fucking Lexo is. Listen, they're a little hard to keep together sometimes. <laughs> I remember most of them, but not, not all of them for sure. Acid, weed, fronto, alcohol, and somehow parenting? Oh. Hmm. I can help you on none of those fronts, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would recommend removing the parenting. I don't know. I mean, I would recommend removing the acid, weed, throat, fronto, and alcohol. Yeah. At the very least. I hope you're doing okay. Oh. Can I get... Yeah, there we go. Sometimes the, um... Like, the sonar is a little weird. Like, it's... You think it's, like, right in front of you, but it's at, like, an angle. I don't think... I think the game is smart enough not to make fossils spawn in places you can't logically reach them, but I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. Ooh. Just, you know, games and shit like that happens sometimes. I'm putting too much thought into fighting this person who has one Viva Sword to their name, but Oof. I don't care. I put Shell on on the team, by the way, because look at him. He's very cute. He's the best boy. Look at him go. I made broccoli cheddar soup today, and it's really good. But it wasn't very filling, unfortunately, because it's just... It's just cheese and broccoli. <laughs> cheese, broccoli, and chicken broth, essentially. Me. It's tasty, but not super filling. But I mean, I guess we could have that as a side all day. 
or all week. I've been awake since 10 a.m. yesterday. Go the fuck to bed. Yoshi, what the fuck? Dude, go to sleep. What are you doing? Fuck that. As someone who's been there, fuck that. Christ. That's fucking awful. Okay. Hopeful. Oh, hey. Do you remember this bitch? Yeah. I'm investigating more about the history of Igneosaurus and Frigosaurus. Alright, cool. You All right. You weren't there for that plot thread, but neat. She's literally, like, not anywhere in plot, which is weird. She helped us find the first idol. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm surprised she hasn't been more of a character. Yeah. Thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. Yeah, I mean, th that's just kind of the thing with this game. I feel like, um... I feel like th it's weird, right? Because I feel like they had like a couple ideas for like a plot, like an overarching plot, and then just used both of them. Because like there's the thing with the idols, obviously you don't know the exact payoff of that yet. But it's like we have that, and then it's not like the idols woke up Igno and Friggy. They 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 were just completely separate. Mm -hmm. And they were just coincidentally there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Part of me, part of me wants to think it's like, oh, like they were trying to do the Pokemon thing with, you know, Groudon and Kyogre. But like, part of me wants to also think maybe they just, like, maybe it's padding. Maybe they had like a couple ideas. I don't really know. That's something even when I was a kid, I thought was weird because like you'd think that would be like the climax. Like you'd think that would be the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um. Yeah, I thought honestly that was the end of the game. I was yeah. like, oh yeah. It's like just these legendary creatures fucking fighting and shit, but it's like, nah, we're, we're, we still got shit to do. I don't mind it, you know, but I, I always, even as a kid, I thought that was just weird. Cause I mean, yeah, you know, it, it's like, how do you, it's like, how do you move on from that? And then it moved on from that. And I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, we went from knickknack to, to Groudon and Kyogre fighting. To God being uh, angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. It happens. God is angry. All right, there we go. There's Patchy's arms. Very quick and easy on that one. Rank 11. I think I'm gonna make different styles of blankets for my brother and his girlfriend because I'm already working on Christmas projects because crochet takes forever. Um, I think Shannon's a nutcase. I am a nutcase. Um, but I mean, it's also like honestly cheaper and I'd rather give them something like handmade like that because they'll have it for a while, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm making a blanket right now for my brother and his girlfriend slash most likely is going to be my sister-in-law one day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because she has my brother's son. So I asked them for their favorite colors, which is purple, like a light lilac-y purple and bright deep red. Yep. Um, and at first I'm like, oh god, like this color palette, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, purple and red kind of go together. Like, that's like... Kinda. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's not your usual color palette you know what i mean yeah 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 but as i'm making it i decided to also throw in some white what's um, up what's up fuckers hey druid how you hey. doing chance talking about their latest crochet project i am um i decided to throw in a couple of these white patches and i think that'll help balance it out and then i'm gonna join it with black mm -hmm. um because my brother also loves the color black because it'll be a unique yeah. Blink. It's gonna be bigger than my sunflower one. That one takes way longer per patch. Oh. I've already made seven. I'm almost done with the eighth patch today. I mean, black goes with everything anyway, so. Right, and then my parents, I actually bought some camo yarn. Oh. God. And I'm gonna make them this style of patch, but it's a continual, it's like a giant patch essentially. Right. Um, And then I'm gonna border that with like hunter orange. Oh, yeah, Which, yeah. what, they're gonna love that. Oh, well, for sure. But, I just, it's, it's comforting, it's quiet, it's repetitive, but keeps my mind clear. I just really like crocheting. 
I'm honestly surprised. I'm almost sad I didn't learn it younger or earlier. Yeah, it's something you can do while streaming that isn't like loud and obnoxious. It's something I can do during streams. It's something I can do during work. It's creative. Invisible yarn. Invisible yarn. Well, yeah. fun fact, you know, technically you can crochet shit like fishing line and make a gill net. Hmm. Technically, Cro all crocheting is is fancy weaving, yeah, fair and enough. so is knitting. So, I mean, knitting and crocheting have different types of knots. Because that's essentially all it is, is weaving and knots. But both are handy <laughs> for their own reasons. I thought that said invisible yam. Oh, the dream. Honestly, the invisible doing, yams Josh? strike back. You uh, know what holographic, I mean? meat, holographic meatloaf again. Glad you guys are here. For Not again, Father. Glad you guys are here. Uh, for invisible yam time. It's actually so nice and cool today. Like, today is so nice. It's like 60 right now, and I'm like, ah! Stealthy Sweet Potatoes. That's a great name for a band right there. I honestly don't like sweet potatoes. Like, everybody's like, oh my god, right. sweet potato. And it's just like, <laughs> They're... sweet potato fries are good. Well, this is the thing. I, I was going to say, like, I feel like everything to do with sweet potatoes, in my own opinion, is like, yeah, they're all right. Like, sweet potatoes, it's okay. Sweet potato fries, they're okay. Like, I don't, I wouldn't ask for them. But it's like, if someone was like, yo, I, I gotta get rid of some shit in my fridge. Here's a bag of sweet potato it's fries. It's raining. Like, fuck yeah. I'm sorry. Be like, yes, fuck yeah. Free fucking sweet potato fries. Why not, you know? It's raining. Same. Yeah, it's actually pouring here. It's not that, It's not bad enough where it should affect the stream, I don't think. But if something, if the quality starts getting fuzzy or something, let us know and I will scream. Wow. I don't know what's going on, on outside my house. You okay? Josh? No, he just doesn't go outside. I said that like something was happening outside. I mean, we live next to a fire station, so... Yeah, so if anything's going on... We always know. Unfortunately. Also, hey, Echo. How you doing, bud? Um... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to say hello, Echo. I'm a bad streamer. Which one was like Alexa again? Oh, yeah, this... Right, this guy. <gasps> Oh, I right. love him. Right, yeah, like so. I have not looked outside all day. Uh, but I have done nothing but teleport bread for three days. Ooh, bread. <laughs> <laughs> Just bread in general. Oh, bread. Bread and steak. Mm. Steak and cheese. Mm. Sandwich. Hey, Jameson, what's up, Yosh? What is going on, my man? I love Lexo. He's underrated. He's got a doofy face. It reminds me of beans. So I like him. Nah, not quite, but yeah. You looking cute today. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I also forgot to say hi. No, you're good. I just feel bad. Normally, I'm like, hey, whenever they pop in, I'm just laser focused. Listen, we go on tangents. It's kind of our whole shtick. Yeah. Or two dumb idiots in when, the middle of the woods. When y'all watch the pixelated broadcast, you have to understand, like, there's a big asterisk that says, like, you know, it's like, all are welcome here. We are looking forward to talking to you, asterisk. As long as we're not being fucking brain dead. <laughs> uh, those Alexos, yeah, his arms. Those are definitely arms. I keep thinking you say Alexa. Don't say it. You'll set the thing off. We do have one of those, although it's a glorified kitchen timer. That's basically all we use the fucking thing for. Or radio. Even then, like, barely, you know. Yeah. Right. I mean, I got it for free for Christmas, so. Yeah. Two points off from a level up. Yep, poor Alexa. But hey, that's the way the rock crumbles, I suppose. And I mean, I'm going to drop off all my extra shit with uh, good old clean. So uh, maybe he'll get maybe he'll get those last couple points he needs. Diamonds. Diamonds. Oh, is this the quadruple? Yes. Take it out for you. I mean, it barely matters. We don't really need money anymore. God. Now it's kind of just like, how high can we get the money count by the end of the game? <laughs> I wish that could be a problem in real life. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. It's four diamonds, whatever. Four. Shay, what was the fuck was that? Did you just? Oh yeah. Yeah, I did. They sure did. 
You'll get used to that here, Echo. Don't worry about it. I am a menace to society. Mm-hmm. You sure fucking are, babe. Listen, I love you. I love you, too. I have a lot of goblin energy that's just pent up inside me. I want to be the Goblin King. Drop all those off just for the donation points more than anything. Hee-hoo. I'm voting her out. <laughs> I'm voting you off the island, Shannon. No. I stay. Speaking of donation points, how many? 217. Hot damn. Okay. So we can actually get a part of Comso. I stay because I am a gay. Yeehaw. I stay because that, I'm a gay they. Is that how that? Yay! Is that how that works? You're immune. <laughs> Shut up. Is that how that works? You're immune to getting voted off if you're if you just like Mart munching carpet. That's how that works. Well, I mean, I'm. I'd have no preference. <laughs> carpet. Yes, yeah, like what's happening, Donger. Munch. I don't fucking care. If you're just a good person and feed me, we good. <laughs> God, it's like living with a dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm easily won over by funny jokes and food. All right. All right. Let's see how long it takes us to find Megalo's bits before we move on. Again, not necessary to do, but the extra points will help, and it's like, why not? Yeah. Get to listen to this sweet, like, totally not Pokemon Mystery Dungeon music. To me, it sounds way more Donkey Kong Country when you're in, like, the ruins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a Megalo's body. And obviously, it'll be a new neutral rock. I think that's the only... Megalo's only in this, like, main area, like, where you're not in, like, a tunnel. Mm -hmm. So, it should be the only new neutral rock we find. Hopefully, I think. I'm timing how long each of these little patches takes me. Yeah. It takes me about 20 minutes. Well, there you go. So if a homeless person gets to you, we can feed you. It's funny. You probably leave the homeless man SMH. Oh well, there you go. Yeah, that's exactly right, Echo. No, I am, no, no. I well, to be fair, I look. They like have a to be funny. I look like a homeless man. So. You do not. Hot as fuck. All right, let's get. They just said they were funny. Yeah, you can be funny and be homeless. I couldn't do that. I need more security. <laughs> Homeless man meets your requirements. <laughs> no. I need security, especially because, like, I grew up super poor. Like, I have very weird anxiety about money issues. And, like, honestly, Jameson and I, for the most part, compared to most people, don't really have money issues because I work too much. He, well, okay, what if he lives in a shack? He's not technically almost done. No. I don't want a shack. I want a cottage in the middle of the woods with a couple of chickens and a really nice game room and a crafting studio. I'm manifesting. Manifest. I'm manifesting the life I want. That is. I will be the gay goth grand parental unit, all right? To all of you. Okay. I will crochet, but I'll also crochet skulls for you. Oh dear. I'll crochet a warning sign for all your enemies. Crocheted warning sign. That is, that's I crocheted a awful. penis. Don't test me. All right, cool. We got Megalo's body. Let's see what this bumps him up to. Rank 11. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Yay. Yay. I don't know why, but I feel super tired today. Oh, he gets power scale? Oh, hell yeah. Void blast. Yeah, that's his team scale. He... Got a blast! I didn't realize Megalo learned powers. Okay, fuck yeah. Sweet. God, I love him. He's the best. All right, well, now that we've got all that taken care of. To be quite honest, Echo, I actually... I shouldn't say it's just, like, feed me and we're good. I'm actually pretty picky. Like, I don't like people who are all about drama i as much as i love watching like tv dramas especially for like medieval periods fuck me up but like i live vicariously through them right if that, that makes sense tv drama is also completely different oh yeah well it's just like 
I like to watch other people's drama. I hate to be a part of anything. Right. And a lot of people will be like, catty. Mm. I don't get it. It's like, why can't we just all have pizza, hang out, and have a good time? I don't get it. Yeah. And it's like, I'm a relatively simple being. I don't want much. I literally just want a cottage in the middle of the woods and live with my beloved and stream <laughs> for me. all y'all. You know? Yeah, it is you. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Oh, sorry. So, I'm a simple being. what I'm gonna do, even though I made the joke that we don't need the money, I think what I'm gonna do, assuming I have enough to do this, is I'm going to get. Hey, thank you for the cat, Yoshi. I'm going to upgrade the case again. Because what I want to do at some point is basically just fill the case with, like, a bunch of fossil rocks that, like, the the robot can do for us. So just try to grind up a ton of donation points, because I'm going to I'm gonna need Comso eventually. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's nothing we have to worry about for the main game, so we, we got plenty of time. And honestly, off screen, I could just go to, like, you know, an old dig site and just do that for a while. Because, we you know, you guys wouldn't be missing out on seeing anything. Um... But that is something I want to do at some point, because we're going to need the boy. Mm. But there's also a whole other Vivasaur we need for that strat that we don't even have access to yet. So, Ooh. again, we got time. It's not like a big deal. I'm honestly surprised we... I'm, the fact that we are already above 200 is great. So, like, we're doing fine. But now it's time. We're currently setting entries for level up battles. Would you like to begin your level up battle? Hell yeah. Let's do it. May I place your fighter's license? Ah, yes. Pixel level 6. First is the cleaning test. When you're ready, head through the door to your right. Watch it be a shit. No, I think it's always like a one or... It's like always like a T-Rex head or like a similar thing. Like, it's never anything like weird, thankfully. Dee dee dee, time for your cleaning test. Beep. You need at least 80 points to pass. Whoop. Let's begin. Beep. Yeah, so this is where it's... Uh, 80 points is um a lot. But... You've been doing fine for the most part, though. Oh, yeah. Especially with a T-Rex head with that particular cut. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. See, this is this is one of those things, right, where it's like, I was thinking about this the other day when I was, like, spacing out at work, right? It's like, with the comparisons people make with, like, Fossil Fighters and Pokemon, right? There, there's something to be said about the fact that the catching in Fossil Fighters, quote-unquote, you know, like, the catching equivalent, this, you can get better at it. You know, in Pokemon, it's just you get better Pokeballs until it gets to a point where you don't need to really... It doesn't matter unless you're catching a Legendary. Like, you just whip a quick ball at it and you're done, you know? Granted, don't get me wrong. I like how Pokemon's catching is, like, simple. I wouldn't really want them to add random bullshit to it because they'd probably just make it shitty, you know, in Pokemon nowadays. But it's like, I was thinking about it. It's like, it is nice that there's something you can, you can practice at and get better at. Yeah. And it helps you in terms of, like, it shortens your grinding. And it's... I mean, it's also just viscerally satisfying. But, like... Um, you know, uh, this game's, like, core gameplay loop of, you know, dig, clean, fight, I, I don't know, I think it works very well, especially because it, because it's all shit you can get better at. You can get the better upgrades, you can get better at the cleaning, and then obviously you learn the battle system and shit, you know. Because I know for you especially, because you're not as an RPG. Okay, the solder on DS, just, didn't... sorry about that. Um... I know it's with you especially because, you know, you're not as into RPGs because they're kind of repetitive and grindy, but, like, this is shit you can, you know, it's skill-based. Yeah. Um, sorry to break it to you, but if you live in a cottage in the middle of nowhere, you're gonna have snakes and roaches and shitty internet bag signal. Thought that was my audio, what the fuck? Yeah, no, sorry, that was just the fucking, that was just Desmume having a stroke. To be fair, Echo, we pretty much already live in the middle of nowhere, we're yeah. just kind of more in the middle of town, but, yeah. I mean... Where eventually we have, like want to get land or whatever, I would assume is probably close to where we are now. Yeah, and honestly, the internet thing is just a matter of how much you're willing to pay for it, because they'll they'll hook you up wherever as long as you're willing to pay out the ass for it, which obviously is not ideal, but still. Yeah, but I mean that's really our only thing we pay for, so, other than Netflix. So. All these fights we need to win flawlessly. If one of our Vivasaurs dies, we get eliminated. That's fucked. Yep. They live in New Hampshire, yeah, which means we only have, like, two options for our internet anyway, so. Yeah. We have Atlantic Broadband or Go Fuck Yourself. 
Yeah. <laughs> Although apparently we are getting a new internet provider soon because they've had so many complaints about Atlantic Broadband. Yeah, no shit. Might be able to use that to our advantage. Hey, look at this guy. Here, you're forced to be reckless, Pixel, but I'm no slouch either. I'll show you how good I am. Let's fight! All right, so we've got Kentro, Corona, and Delta. Oh, I like Delta. Okay, so we got I some, just like purple. We got some wind shit going on. Uh, that should be good. Eventually, I want to make a blanket for us. Or some water, rather. I mean, that... <laughs> I love you, but you do not need to make more blankets. Do not subject yourself to that. I love blankets. We have one, two, three, four total hit points. Yeah, we need to win this without losing a single guy, which can be a little annoying, but honestly, shouldn't be too bad. Let's see. You've got the P plus thing, though, I think. Yeah, I think that was you. Um, yeah, let's just go for Delta. Yeah, I think you were right. I think I just need to get used to my new hook. I got a new crochet hook. It's made out of bamboo. It's supposed to be better for your hands and a little bit smoother to glide through different types of, um, like acrylic or polyester yarns, which is mostly what I use. Hmm. Um, yeah. Why Delta? Because Delta's got FP plus, and I don't want them having that. Because Corona's not gonna- neither of these other dudes are doing anything anyway, so... Plus, it gives me a chance to show why um, power scale is fucking stupid. Oh. So watch this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna nuke this thing. Don't need to. It's completely like overkill. They get their FP as like you know the comeback mechanic or whatever. I go to Megalo. Power scale reduces me to 20. And there you go. And now I can also just attack if I want to. Ooh. That's like mine as well. So it's pain split. It's pain split if it weren't it's on your power points instead. But yes. Because your FP is essentially just what you use to cast your attacks. Um, um, yeah. Wait. Oh, wow. Come on. Jesus, okay. Um, I'm not gonna have enough to do... I'm not gonna have enough to do power scale if I attack again, so I'm gonna leave it for a turn so I can just do what I just did. I read that as Corona Bite. <laughs> No, Corona, like, like... Feral. What? Like, Corona Bite would be Feral. <laughs> yeah. Feral moves. Feral. Real Feral gaming hours. Um... Discover... No, let's do it like this. Take him out. And I can 106. Let's have Patchy... Just get in for some good damage here. And it's just dead anyway, so I didn't need to worry about it. Cool. <laughs> I was gonna attack and then power scale to just take more away from them, but alright. I didn't realize Megalo got power scale. I'm used to only the like like the long neck dinosaurs getting that. Because that's like a lot of them get it for some reason. Um but no, that's really good. Megalo's, uh, Megalo's been putting in work this entire playthrough. Yeah. He has nowhere else to go if he doesn't do good. Oh my god, don't be mean to Megalo. <laughs> I would never do that to him. God. Second opponent, you have to win flawlessly. You lose if you one of your viewers is defeated. Of course, that doesn't apply to our opponents for some reason, but, you know. Doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop. 
Who would do that? Do, do, do. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> Mr. Ozzlewit. Yeah, you may have youth on your side, whippersnapper, but age and wisdom count too. I've been a fighter since before you were born. You better be ready to take the full brunt of decades of fossil fighting experience, because I've got a full tank of grandpa gas, and my foot is on the battle pedal. Whoa. Grandpa gas, you say? Uh, I think we've all had some grandpa gas from time to time. God. So he's got a full team of fire guys. Whenever my grandfather used to fart, it always sounded like a bowling ball running through a bowling alley. It was disgusting. That's the worst thing you've ever it was said. Absolutely toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Probably from all the beer. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. So chill on here reduces the enemy's defense by just fucking half, which is hilarious. Um, and he's also a long range somehow, so he doesn't lose power from attacking from the side zone. So he's, he's huh. pretty good against like this kind of fire heavy squad. Because I mean, even with the decreased stats, Spinax can just eat hits. So. Gonna do water blade. Look at that, look at him go. Whee! Gonna do water blade pretty much just so I can stop the AI from trying to save any of its points. Fuck you, these are mine now. Hello, power scale. Mailstrip again. Boy. Um, I could. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go for Harden. I don't think everybody showed that off. So, yeah, Harden gives you a defense up. Guess what defense up means? Yeah. Um, like the status conditions, the stat buffs last for however many turns on the little counter. So, after once it passes back to our turn, Spinax defense goes back to normal. I don't know how much of a boost it gives, like, percentage-wise, but it it's something. Hmm. Uh, Chelon also has access to Super Harden, which is just a better defense up. It lasts the same amount of time, though. See, it's meant, it's marked with gold, like the, you know, like the other level 2 statuses. Mm -hmm. Sorry I'm, like, still explaining shit this deep in. It's just, like, we don't, you know, there's not a lot of, like, stat moves in Fossil Fighters. It's mostly just hit shit. Yeah. It's funny, actually. Um, I was gonna make a joke about how, like, the only healing moves we've even seen so far are, like, Law of the Jungle, which is more of a health stealing move. Lambio actually learns healing moves, I think? It's just, I think it's, like, his last move is a healing move. Um... But yeah, uh, so power, I keep, I keep almost calling it pain split. Power scale definitely helps with this challenge. Yeah, it sounds like it'd be good. It doesn't knock on wood look too, too hard though. No, especially because we're just like really high level. I think the game is like half expecting you to like not bother getting the extra parts, like in just grinding it up the old fashioned way. Mm -hmm. It was also, I'd like to remind, like, remind you that like we've been doing this whole game without team skills because we've just never had a team composition that works with them, and I didn't want to like, I didn't want to have to go change the entire team just so we could use team skills when they're not even that insane, you know? Yeah. Like hitting the entire enemy party is is great, but like we we can just use our our dollar store T Rex for that. Our dollar store T Rex. That's what Guan is. All right, and now it's time for the the final fucking fight. Woohoo! We're going in, boys. Congratulations, made the final battle. You have to fight flawlessly. Once you're ready, go through the door on your right. I do like that they give you. It's not immediately in a row, so that way, if you want to completely swap out your team, like if you get your ass kicked by the fire, you can just grab like an entire team of water or something. You just do that. I'm gonna rewrite your dictionary with a new definition of pain. I'm sure. You done real good against Far Pixel, but you won't get past me. Ugh. Beating me would make you a master fighter. Losing me makes you everyone else. <laughs> because there's nobody stronger than Sorehead. 
All right, let's do this. I swear that guy does heroin. Probably. Dino heroin. Whoa. He just injects oil into his veins. Oh. So he's got his own Guan, which could be terrifying. He's uh, got Pelto, mm -hmm. who's like, I feel like his textures are weirdly higher res than the rest of them. And Patrino. Um, Not the dinosaurs I thought he'd have. No. Also, I'd like to point out he's like rank 565, five, and we're sitting at 11, 12, 11, 7, 6. So, like, I think we'll be pretty much fine. Um, speaking of our dollar store uh, T Rex, put Megalo up front, and yeah, I think that's actually solid. What's this, Druid? Do you detect a trend? Favorite Pokemon of each time. Oh, you doing you doing one of these fucking memes? Mm. Um, hmm. wings. <laughs> wings. Lots of wings. A lot of steel types. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Well, uh, he is a sleep. He's a sleepy boy. Um, just pass it back. Yeah, so that guy can put shit to slow. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Mm. I'm trying to get enough FP so I can just do the transformation thing. Yeah. Oh god, of course I want to keep that ability. Okay, so we're gonna have to try that one again. Oof. Do you have to do all three? No, 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 no. Aaron and her damn steel types. Hey, Titan. Yeah, what's going on? This fight fucking sucks. Yeah, I mean, it, that was my own fault for trying to stall it out and do the transformation thing, but it's like, using T-Rex will make this a non-fucking challenge. Um, Maybe I shouldn't use Chell on then, because he's, he's not got a lot, he doesn't have a ton of health. Mm, which is ironic, because he's a turtle. Well, you'd think he'd be very bulky. But then again, we have established that it's not armor, that is skin. Gross. I still hate that. Well, there are soft shell turtles. I realize that, but that's. <laughs> I realize that, gross. but they're disgusting. Yeah, no, it's just the last. Oh, it's just the last yeah. one. I thought you had to do all the other battles again. If you, like, didn't save in between and turn it off, yeah, but it just kicks you back to the hotel. It doesn't take you back to your last save. That's good. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, because he doesn't have, like, any health. So let's do that instead. Because, I mean, Guan doesn't have much health either, but I think the AI is going to say, oh, it's not very effective, so I'm just not going to do it. Because if we can transform Guan into T-Rex and just use the level one skill of just spamming the hit everyone button, it'll be fine. No wonder he's undefeated. He's cheating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? He's like, oh, I'm undefeated. If I kill one of your guys, I win. You know, like... Ooh. That being said, I should still just hit a little bit, so... Megalobite. Oh yeah, you know what, this will be better. Because I can hit Power Scale, and then move on from there. Earth Spear complete a sleep, which is a little annoying, but something... Oh, okay, he's switching. Crochet break. You mean a break from crocheting? Yeah. I'm just going to keep using the basic shit to conserve. My brain here. is soup. Oh, goodness. Oh, my knuckles. Might not get the chance. See how much iron vessel does. Bonkin. Nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, so he does that. We do power scale. This is completely unnecessary, by the way. If I just keep hitting buttons with Megalo, kill him. But, like, it's funnier if I just torture him. Do it. You know I just realized, actually? What? I I'm gonna check something real quick. Does his Guan even have great unmasking? Hmm. Okay, it does. 
I'm weird that he didn't. Go oh, I can't rotate when he's asleep. Yeah, whatever. Just <laughs> Fuck you, Sorehead. You dumb fucking bitch. <laughs> Come here, cunt. I wish I had more of these. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Uh. Let's just fucking... Let's just end this. Get up here. You know what that T-Rex reminds me of? Hmm. <laughs> Guy Fieri. The hey, flames, Shannon, the hair. Shannon. <laughs> do you... Do you take pleasure in just ruining everything I like? Yes. It does kind of look Guy Fieri-esque. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> what? What's wrong with the the the, 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 the What's wrong with the lad? Just stop talking. Oh, now he's doing it. I guess I'll answer that question. Does he heal when he transforms? He does. Oof. That's fine. Again. It's only a little bit, but hey, every bit helps. Because every Viva wants to share FP, so. Yeah. Although he might have just killed Patchy. He got a crit, and it didn't matter. <laughs> Turn throw again. Take out that fucker in the side. That did five damage. Oof! Is Patchy fucked? possibility. Um. Meglo on. Well, yeah, because I could. Let me do this, yeah. yeah. I won't be able to power scale, but I don't think. I don't think that'll matter right now. Alright. If I seriously fuck this up twice just because I was trying to be funny and use T Rex, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. Oof. Okay. Let's. Let's leave. I. Yeah, no, I think I think there's gonna be a. No oh wait, we got a crit. Oh, it's on us. He's excited. That doesn't mean anything. Excited. His heart is failing. Oh, he attacked. He attacked Megalo for some reason. Okay. Does excited mean you can only attack what's right in front of you? Maybe. I've never noticed that, if that is the case. It must be. And I've somehow just not noticed this entire time. Either that or the AI is just fucking dying. I mean... I mean, yeah, I'm not complaining. I'd rather not have to do this again. Yay! All right, cool. I honestly would have had an easier time if I just had Megalo keep attacking with the 90% boost from Guan, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It was funnier this way. Hey, we did it. We're a, ma we're a master fossil fighter. We are uh, we are the fossilist. You must have cheater, son, to beat Sorehead. Yeah, cheater, you're a dirty cheating cheater. Cheater? They can't move. Okay. Oh, that's enough. Do you two think Sorhead can't spot a cheater in the ring? Oh, Sorhead. Is he gonna give us his head? <laughs> hey, kid, that was a good battle. Sorhead hasn't smelled the old socks odor of defeat in ages. Yeah, Sorhead smells old socks. Whoa. That was just a hard fought battle? No cheating? No cheating. And victory over me, Sorhead, means that you, kid, are now a master fighter. Matt, younger me couldn't figure out why Spinax couldn't beat Pelto, so I struggled a lot. Yeah, that Ooh. sounds like what young Jameson had to go through. I hereby certify you, Pixel's a master fighter. Arrgh! Yay. We are the best. Also, hey, Lax, how you doing, bud? Hey. But don't get full of yourselves because you're a master fighter, kid. There are plenty of fighters out there with tough, tough Vivasaurs. Never let your guard down. Like those Vivasaurs you use today, I raised those just for level up battles. I got tougher ones, too. 
You just keep doing what you're doing, kid. Lots of digging and lots of fighting. Ugh. We are the cheater. We're not cheating. We, we're the best. We aren't using cheats until after we beat the game. Don't worry about it. All right. It's your favorite. Pixel, you mean Master <laughs> Fighter? Congratulations! I love, I love how you, I still don't know how to read. I love how you lean back in your chair when you do the rosy voice. Oh, well, I know it's high pitch. <laughs> oh. What? Swordhead didn't use his regular team of Viva Swords for the level up battle. Ah, oh, but he was still strong as ever. Wow, I'm headed to my final battle now. I better reconsider my team. Anyway, thanks for the pro tip, Pixel. Okay, I can't put it off any longer. Time to become a master fighter, too. Wish me luck. Bye! And the asshole needs special rules. Yeah. I assume the special rules are not his idea, but... Eh. Oh. A letter fell down in front of you that oh, they totally no. remembered to animate. You can sit back up now, Rose. not coming back. Is this letter a threat? There's something I want to talk to you about, Pixel. I'll wait for you in the park tonight. From Duna. Oh, no. Is she gonna fall in love with us, too, or something? It's always the park with these women. I mean, it's a nice park. We technically fell in love in a park. Yeah. Thank you for coming, Pixel. I am unsure if I'll ever see you again, so I wanted to make sure I was able to speak with you. As you have seen, I am not human. I am a Dunarian. I am from another world. You might think of us as dinosaur people. Oh, fuck. So you never fought him in a normal battle? I mean, maybe. Living beings change over time, over millions and millions of years. This is called evolution. You and I have followed different evolutionary paths and now are different creatures altogether. The Dunarians of a group have never thought well of humans. You have a long history of turning against each other, waging war, and other such... problems. I've always believed humans to be unable to respect one another, wanting nothing more than conflict. But, you are different. Despite the fact I am Dunarian, and I attacked you, you saved me from under that boulder. May... may I ask you one thing? If there were a war between humans and Dunarians, if I was your enemy, would you still have saved me, Pixel? Yes. Wow, you... Titan's gonna yell at me. I was gonna say, you made us do a poll for Rosie, but this bitch, you're like, yes. Well, Titan will yell at me <laughs> if I don't. Even as enemy, you would have saved me. Your answer inspires a strange feeling in me. You know, it's hard to describe. I suppose it is happiness. Never thought I would say this to a human, but I think I like you. It saddens me I'll not be able to see you again, but this is something that cannot be changed. There's nothing that can be done about it. If only I could change the past and have you evolve into a Dunarian like me. If that were possible, we could be really close... Friends. Goodbye, Pixel. Wow. I was joking. <laughs> I would yell, you must save waifu. <laughs> save your progress? Hell yeah, we just got a kiss from an alien. We gotta make sure that's fucking there forever. Wow. Chapter 6 complete. I mean, also, Rosie is kind of, like, annoying. At least Duna was, like, actually had interesting character. Chapter 7! The Revival! Sorry. I just needed to do that before it was off screen. You are now a master fighter. The master mask has been sent to the mask salon. Real men fuck dinosaurs. Can... Y y y you know what? Stop. Hey, Titan, remember how you are saying you didn't have a quote? There you go, bud. <laughs> uh, all right. So, we're done. We're a master fighter. Nothing else to do. We've done it. So that's not, like, that's the end of the plot, but not end game. Then no, there's still shit to do. I'm, oh. I'm faking you out. Oh, Pixel, perfect timing. You know these idols, the b b b b bandits we're after? Turns out they do have a hidden secret. They're not just old statues. There's advanced technology that no one, not even aliens, have seen before. Dr. Dickens has them in the secret lab now doing testing on the aliens. Anything's possible. Let's go see what's going on. We might even find more about Duda and what she's all about. 
The secret lab in the basement of Richmond building. Let's go. I totally didn't turn into the aliens guy from uh, History Channel. D Someone refresh my memory. D does Rosie know that Duna's an alien? Or is she just going off of like, yeah, that bitch seems weird. Fuck it. I don't know. Because I don't think she was with... She wasn't with us for that bit where she attacked us. And she obviously wasn't with us in the park unless Rosie's stalking us, which I could believe. Hello! It's all right. I love him! What's his name? Oh my god. What is that? An art park? A beaver with a tail injury? <laughs> a gerbil that's been working out? She should. Yeah, I was gonna say, she shouldn't, right? It looks like a huge mouse. Ugh. What do you mean, Rosie? You're blind. It's so cute. Alright. With mice that big running around, what in the world has the cleaning lady been doing with her time? Probably was talking, probably. Wait, the cleaning lady is usually here by now. Where is she? Is she dead? Aliens. Hey, look! Trees blocking the entrance to secret, secret lab are gone. Yeah, so that's why you couldn't access this earlier. Mm, excuse me, Mr. Guard. The, 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 the beam. Squeak. Hello. Get a hold of yourself. Secret lab. Underground. What about the underground secret lab? The beam. Squeak. That's so ominous. Okay, this guy's useless. Let's just head down to the secret under underground dungeon lab. Alright. Didn't say dungeon. Welcome to the void. Wow. <laughs> like, like, okay, listen. Like, listen, listen. They I really couldn't even add a texture of, like, I, concrete. I know. I get it. I get it. Making games is expensive, but bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? This is so scary. Like, fuck. It's like the last dungeon in Earthbound when you're in, like, a cave I'm in, a in simulation. nowhere. Like, all right. Cleaning lady lady's also a rat now. What the fuck? What? Oh, no. Duna! Oh, fuck. Rosie. Pexel. Hello, humans. <laughs> my, <laughs> my name is Raptin. I have taken the liberty of letting myself in. Thank you. Is that their clothes, or is that just what their skin looks like? Stop. Hey, this is private property. What are you doing here? Explain yourselves. Ah, uh, how to explain such a way you'll understand. We are Dunarians, a superior life form. First, I should thank you for collecting all the sub idol clumps for us. Cause we should have hired you from the beginning instead of that fucking moron bulwart. Hired us? Wait, you hired the b b bandits to look after those tacky idols? <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic zoom. Well, yes, sub idol clumps actually. We, requ we required them to make some adjustments to an experiment. This experiment, you might be interested to know, involves wiping humans off the face of the earth. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. I can't possibly have said what I... You can't... One more time, Rosie. I told you, I don't know how to read. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Slow down. You can't possibly have said what I thought you said. I assure you I did, and I meant it. As you're just finding some way to occupy yourselves until your time comes. For example, you could practice scurrying around on all fours. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, did the beam actually work? I have such trouble telling one mammal from another. And now Rosie is a rat with a hat. She sure is. I love how all her clothes disappeared except her hat. Stop, do not bite me, you filthy beast! So primitive and brutish. Now, you are next. Raptin, we have the idle clumps. Let's just hurry and get back to the ship. J just leave him alone. Get out of the way, Duna, unless you'd care to revisit some earlier branches of the family tree. 
Whoa. Take this! Ow. Must be out of power. Ah, oh, well, she'll at least keep them knocked out for a while. So, Duna, shall we return to the ship? Yeah, Raptin's little fucking rat laser has two shots in it. Where's my teleporter? Oh, I must have fallen off my neck somewhere. Duna, let, let me use yours. How convenient. Yeah, I'll go first. Pixel, Rosie, I am so sorry. <laughs> I missed context on a quote. That sucks. You don't need it. She starts, like, gnawing on your face. Can't do that anymore. I'm getting a headache. Why is Rosie now a dinosaur? Uh, she got shot with alien technology. So she's now whatever this is. <laughs> Can you imagine? Diggins, who are those two on the security camera? What the fuck are Junarians? <laughs> Diggins, are they fucking aliens? <laughs> Hmm, could these be humanoids an instead of evolved from dinosaurs? An improvement on alien technology? Possibly. She's not a dinosaur. Very interesting. This is all just speculation, of course. One thing is for sure, these Sunarians have technology far beyond ours. Better than yours, Diggins. That is impressive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm still working on my rat gun. <laughs> oh dear god, what the fuck is that? <laughs> we saw what happened to the secret laboratory. It was recorded on the security cameras. Home, cut off from... Uh, uh, cop from Odyssey. She's a previous part of human's evolutionary chair. Yeah. Oh. It's like a de-evolving gun. Oh, I see. Sorry, that's why he's in like the branches of the family tree bit. Oh, okay. Which is hilarious because that implies if he shot Duna with it, she would have turned into an actual ass dinosaur and probably would have fucking killed him anyway. Yeah. So, you know. Sorry to go through that, son. It's Rosie, though, whom I'm really worried about. What have they done to her? What the Super Mario movie fuck? There, there, Rosie. I wish I could make you feel better. Oh, mice like cheese, right? I'll go get some. With all due respect, Mr. Richmond, Rosie not gonna turn into a mouse. She was turned she was turned into a Trichondonta. A what? I'm old. You're gonna have to slow down. Trichondontas were ancient creatures that were predecessors to some modern mammals. The way they hit Rosie must somehow revert creatures to earlier evolutionary forms. Put another way, it altered your DNA to match that of your most ancient ancestors. That's fucking horrific. What a devastating thing. Yes, we'll have to take that dino being's threat to wipe humans off the face of the earth seriously. I only wish we knew what more about them, if only to understand the motivations better. I like how she still does her little spin. Stop making that noise, you're gonna hurt yourself. Rosie gave you an odd looking pendant. What the fuck? Hi, what is this? Could this belong to the Dunarians? Yes, that's it. Rosie must have taken it when she bit that Dunarian man. So, I'd like to point out, Raptin said that was around his neck. Rosie went for his fucking throat. Like, Rosie was ready to All kill right, a bitch. A little more respect for Rosie, then. Like, Rosie's like, well, I'm a rat, so I'm going to chew this guy's fucking jugular out. Like, Good. There's a switch on it. It looks like some sort of electronic device. No, Diggins, don't you go pressing buttons. We don't know what that thing could turn people into. Don't worry, I'm not that careless. <laughs> Achoo! Click. Oh, damn. I accidentally pressed that button. <laughs> You'd be angry if you turned to a rat. I don't know. More important, where should he... I wouldn't have to work. I don't know. Where did she have it? Under her hat, obviously. And all I would eat is cheese. Or peanut butter. Fuck me up. Shannon. What the Welcome fuck? to space! <laughs> what just happened? Where are we? I fully believe Diggins did that on purpose. Yeah, me too. I don't believe it. Look out the window. We're in space! And presumably aboard a spaceship. Beans, can you stop, bud? You're shaking the whole table with your fucking fat ass. Father, <laughs> I crave love. Don't forget pizza. Some rats like pizza. Oh, mm. dude, pizza. Well, I can make pizza. I have shit to make pizza. Oh, all right. We're ending stream early, guys. Holy Good night. shit. What? No, but wait. This spaceship. Is this the Dunarian base? Where, the gal where in the galaxy is it? Floating thingies. The plot is officially going crazy. Yeah. Oh shit, this one's green. 
hey guys, looks like you had to turn off your disguises. You know the rules. Hologra holography. That's a weird word. Disguise devices must be turned off inside the mothership. Or is there some other reason you look like humans? Like you're actually real humans that sneaked aboard somehow. <laughs> I'm only joking. Come on, what are the odds that real humans get out here in the orbit? Sheesh. Anyway, show off the fucking thing, okay? Oh, that was close. We can't stay here looking like this. Let's get back to Earth. He's looking at his rat granddaughter. <laughs> I love, I just love, like, uh, I just love, because obviously there's no, like, voice acting in this game, so of course it's silent, but I love just the silent him and Rosie, the rat, just looking at each other. <laughs> and just, just we warp back in five seconds later. He's like, what, where, where the fuck do you go? Like, don't scare me like that. He just melted away in front of me. What happened? I'm old. You can't surprise me that often. <laughs> You won't believe this. We were teleported to a spaceship. Apparently the Junarian mothership. We need to go back. That spaceship is our key to finding out more about the Junarians. We're gonna need disguises. Some way to avoid looking too... human. Haha. Hmm. -ha. I think I have an idea. I don't know if his strange hands on or will allow it, but you could ask Sorehead for his mask. Are you fucking kidding me? He has an extremely high quality mask. <laughs> Might just do the trick. Oh my god. Junarians, please let me join you. <laughs> Pixel, I want you to go over to Fossil Stadium and ask Sorehead if you can borrow his mask. I'll be over in the Fossil Center running some tests on the device. Come meet me at the Fossil Center as soon as you get the mask. Good luck. Remember when you asked if he's gonna give us his head? I was joking. What do you think she's trying to say? What little thoughts? She's trying to say, oh my god, you motherfucker. Goddamn. Weird dog in the corner. Oh my god. Hey, Missile, you missed hey. it. Rosie's a rat now. Yeah, Rosie is an alien rat. No, she's a human rat. That's what humans evolved from in the Fossil Fighters universe, apparently. Monkeys aren't real. Please stop crinkling that can. You are driving me fucking insane. Wow. Okay, then. I love you, though. We're now a <clears throat> master. Oh my god, you scared me. Oh. Oh, that thing came unplugged. I was making pasta and I'm already out of it. Well, make more. There we go. Fuck. Gotta move this over so it's like not on the thing. I'm sorry guys, give me a second. Could this fucking work please? Hello? Oh my god. That's what we evoluted from in this universe, if you go back far enough. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking shit. Good idea, I'll be back in another ten minutes so I can make more pasta. Alright. Enjoy. I think I might have grabbed the wrong charger, because it's like not working at all. Um... Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. This needs to be leaning on that. Okay. I mean, as long as we can still see chap, that should be fine. Alright, sorry about that. The uh, other monitor being a little bit of a bitch. Alright. <clears throat> oh, Richmond told me to expect a visit from you. He said he, he need to borrow a mask. Yeah, but you thought the story would end after you beat Bullwards like Pokemon. No, it continues on with alien dinosaurs. Yeah, it's um... It's fucking weird. Yeah. You do realize what you're asking. You may as well ask to borrow my face. Most people I saw head for a favor like that would end up in a world of pain for their trouble. But for a master fighter like you, I might make an exception. But I can't just hand it over. You're going to have to earn it, boy. Face off against 15 of my Vivasaurs. Five straight battles. Why? If you survive until the end of the sun death match, I'll give you the mask. I'm assuming Diggins didn't mention that the fate of all humanity is at stake. You know, because he's an idiot. So, are you ready now to enter the sun death match? Fucking sure. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the answer I expect for a fighter of your caliber. Rawr, begin! So, we have to do five back-to-back -back fights with Sarhead, and he changes his team every time. One team for each element. So, you could do... Basically, you have two options. 
do what we've been doing for the entire game already and have one dude of each element just so you can sort of swap your dudes in and out and be fine or just go the all neutral route so you don't have to worry about taking extra damage but you don't get to deal extra damage in that case either um never straight fight yeah yeah this is gonna be rough first round neutral we got jada neo and brachio they're all neutral of course so we can just hit them as hard as we can and probably be fine so let's go something about meglo Megalovania. That's all just playing in a stupid head. <laughs> I love that noise. Alright, Neo combo. That's fine. I wasn't planning to take him out of the front, so that's. Right, knockout cry is a little annoying if the box. Oh, of course it did. You'd think you wouldn't be able to be asleep and excited at the same time, but you know what? I'm just gonna just do that. Because if he's just gonna keep hitting them, then might as well. Some legends say if you sing Megalovania all the way through, a thirsty copy will appear. <laughs> Or Aaron. I mean, Druid's already here. That's fair. Please do not. I'm put honestly me to sleep. surprised she didn't say anything. I'm going to fucking. Pretty sleep. sure ex excited sleeping is called a wet dream. I don't want to think about that. He is a dinosaur. Hey, B. Does that never mind? What? Does that happen to other animals? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Pretty sure. Huh. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, never mind. Let's knock on this fucking hit. Stop putting me to sleep, you cunt! Jesus fucking Christ. I have a cat for your trouble. What? Does what happen? Like, wet dreams? Like, is that a thing other animals have to deal with? Let him go. <laughs> My poor son. Okay, he's not gonna have enough fucking FP to do knockout wave again. So we'll just smack Brachio as hard as we can. Nice 208 damage. On the bright side, the whole losing one dude and immediately dying rule is not a thing anymore. That was only for the level up fight. So these are just the irregular fights is just a lot of them. Fifty more dead Zubats. I'll kill enough to get three percent chance to inc increase the shiny chance. Hey man, that three percent could be exactly what you need. Now Jar is forced up front, and now Jar is fucking dead. Oh my god, get absolutely fucked. <laughs> All right. Neo's doing his thing. Excited, yep. All right, four more to go. Wake up, Shannon. Shannon, wake up. Four more to go. Mm, sorry. I didn't mean a space. Yeah, don't get your goggles because you won the first battle. Things will be so easy. The second one, yeah, you don't even get to save in between. So if you if you lose, you're starting the gauntlet over again. Now it's water time. We got cryo. Do they heal each time? Yeah, it's just like anything else. Okay. Cryo, Anklio, look at the boy. Oh, I love him. Ninety nine percent increased your own defense, and Angato. Hmm. So, it's just um. Yeah, yeah, that seems good. Sorhead the second. 
Those are all new dinos we haven't really seen, right? I believe so, yes. I mean, I think we could have found them in, like, earlier dig sites, but I don't think we've seen anyone else use them yet. Yeah. Very Pokemon music. Oh, yeah. It's good shit, though. Okay, so... The smart thing to do is to try to take out Ankleo as quickly as possible because he has insane support effects. 73, nice. Pretty sure they're all post game, are they? Huh. I think I know I'm pretty sure Ankleo definitely is. I could I could have sworn uh the one up top we could have found in bottoms up bay, but I could definitely be mistaken. They probably are just post game, I'm just misremembering. Um that ought to do enough. Fuck. All right, well, we'll just wait then. Yeah, that gold poison does a lot. Mm. Unless it's like a 2% chance. Yeah, it might be one. It might be a, uh, a, a good old Tarbo situation. When, when he said you're gonna have to fight 15 of my Vivasaurs, did you think it was gonna be like some insane fucking, like, dynasty warriors fighting a million enemies at once kind of yeah. bullshit? <laughs> Honestly. Oh, that would have been amazing. He's got one fucking health. I hate. Okay. Well, I still. No, I mean, I could just do it like this. Spinax Fang, take him out. The support effects are gone. So now he loses a bunch of defense. I can use Maelstrom to just get some extra damage. It's all in a post-game map. Okay. Makes sense. He would have access to shit like that, I suppose. And then power scale. You doing okay, baby? We gonna make that pizza after the stream? I might throw it in the other night in mission. Fair or enough. Calzone, innit? Yeah, but then we, we can't really eat while we're streaming. Well, you can. <laughs> it's up to you. I don't know. I might just make a turkey sandwich and then you can make that after. Fair enough. Cyclone! That defense kind of is very nice. I haven't had a lot of fruits in today. I should probably do that. I feel kind of bad that now Megalo is kind of relegated to just power scale spamming, but power scale is that good. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he's never going to attack again. It's just in these situations where we're just, you know, we're just taking out dudes left and right, it's good to take away that advantage. Yeah. It, 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 that's the thing, though. It kind of doesn't matter because, like, he'll just get enough to attack anyway, but, I mean, it's... it's he, Sometimes it matters a lot more than other times. I mean, it's still a good play to do, because then we can just fucking do Cyclone and literally whatever other move we want. But he's dead anyway. All right. Three more to go. We also don't get XP for these until, like, the very end. But I, That makes sense, yeah. though. Power scale is busted. Power, yeah, power scale's fucked. The fact that power scale only costs 50 is fucked. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, Earth time. Patchy, Acro, and Char Char we are familiar with by now. Um, so we can put Megalo up front. Guan can go there. I mean, Challenge is nice for that defense cut, honestly. Most FP stealing is. Oh, yeah, yeah. There are other Vivasaurs who have FP stealing moves, like they'll do damage and have a chance to steal FP. Uh, Jar is one of them. I think his move has like a 60% chance to steal FP. And it steals enough where it, it covers its own cost, but like only by a bit. It's not like this. My main team in Champions is based around FP stealing. I mean, it's a good strategy. It's fucking busted. Um. Yeah, you know what? Speaking of, let's just keep doing what we've been doing. My fucking one-track brain wants to transform Guan into T-Rex, so I can just spam the hit all, but I mean, if he's not gonna move after one turn, he's probably not gonna move after I power scale him anyway, so. Perso has cleared the path, which you know you want 100 FP, goddamn. Oh, Earth is blast, okay. 
And then there's like Aopteryx, who has like HP and FP stealing skills. Mm. Not rolled into one, it's just one steals HP and one steals FP, but still, like, good shit. I'm intentionally saving it because I think that transforming strategy might be better. Ba -ba That's like just under enough, is the three six son of a bitch game. Okay, well, well, let's do the combo anyway. He'll heal when he transforms, so he's fine. We're not gonna take him out anyway. Cost 80 is 50 chance of stealing 180. God damn. But like, at least that's balanced by the fact that it's like a chance, and I don't believe there's anything in this in these games that like increases your chance of added effects happening. You know? Uh, I should. Oh shit! I can't. Okay, this is gonna be kind of weird. Great unmasking first. Obviously, it's not a great position for T-Rex to be in, but then, um, we'll power scale. Just take a little bit more of his FP away. Because I wasn't going to be able to rotate and power scale, because then he would have been in the back. 55, that's fine. I'm not going to be able to power scale after this either, but hopefully it won't matter anymore. T-Rex up front. Tyrant's Roar. Found a power scale when it doesn't work. Right, of course, yeah. You just have a backup plan so you're always stealing FP anyway. First saw is the clear path, which can net you Wait, 100. We read that one before. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> hey, he's scared, as he should be. I don't know how the team skills works with, like, the transfer- the transforming Vivasaurs. Like, if you transformed into something that would let you use a team skill if it will. I'm assuming Guan and T-Rex are just in the same pool of, yeah. like, compatibility, but I don't actually know that off the top of my head. Alright, unfortunately he's gonna get all that FP to work with, but on the bright side... We're we're three oh we're three one here, so And I mean if he kills Chalon, it's not exactly a titanic problem. I like how he just drop kicked a turtle. No, he's fine. Oh. Re remember, we're not dealing with the lose one we lose situation anymore, so Yeah. Our team is Perso, Raiden, O Raptor Fiend. You are an evil fucking monster. Yay. Alright. We're over halfway done. Whoa! I'm mad. I'm doing the Bowser voice wrong. Okay. Next up is Wind. We got Styraco, Kentro, and one of my favorite designed Vivasaurs. Pa Paraloff. <laughs> he looks like every old 90s restaurant. I know. I love him. <laughs> Look, green and black is just good together. It is. Alright, so it's Patchy's turn. We're not going to have that defense cut, which is slightly unfortunate, but honestly, I think... Well... That yeah, 90% boost is nice. Let's just do that, yeah. I just like that color scheme, like black, green, like gold. I just, I just like that a lot. Mm. Perso and Raiden combined have a hundred, one thousand five hundred LP. I love it. Damn. Tanky boys. I still think it was such a weird choice to make the who goes first thing be based on life points in this game. Like, I kind of get it, but that, I can't think of another RPG that does that. Because, like I said before, in Champions, they change it to just be based off of speed. Like, how you would expect. Um. Because in this game, speed is basically your evasion. Mm -hmm. Uh. So, yeah, that's pretty much all it does. Okay, so, he doesn't have the decreased defense anymore. Iron Ram. There we go. Let's 
See, Megalo still gets to do actual things. Oh shit, he's not. Nah, as soon as I say it, he's confused. Karloff is just summoning Dragon Ball Z energy. Yeah. And now he's enraged, so he's probably going to miss whatever attack he ends up going for. And it's Null Breath. Well, it didn't. No, it did miss. Okay. Putting Patchy up. Isn't ideal, but it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Echo. It's fine. Fuck. I just came back. Oh, don't worry. Listen, man, you think that's bad? You see some of the other quotes we got. Yeah, we're... We're a raunchy crew. We are. We are degenerates. Come on, hit, hit. Nice. <laughs> Alright, last round. Hey, here's my last place. I went to shower. Well, now that you're all clean, you get to see us do the last round against the fucking Sorehead Gauntlet. I guess that's why I made you Master Fighter. That was the first blah, 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 blah. Let's go. All right, and finally, it's not all fire. He actually has a mixed crew here. Damn. He's got Gorgo. Oh my gosh. Hmm. T-Rex, like a real one. Oh wow. And uh, the one our color scheme is based off of, good old Tarbo. I love him. Um. Yeah, it's weird that's not all fire. But anywho, um. I mean, it's probably just to get you a little bit more surprised. I like how you can at least see him before you jump in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I think, as much as I would like to have the attack boost, I think... I think this is just better. Yeah, T-Rex I'm worried about. Yeah, because he can hit everybody if he has enough FP. He only needs 100, so... And, I mean, we still get the defense drop on him, which is nice, so... So will all your experience go to every dinosaur in the party of five or the party of three? I'm going to be honest, I don't really know if you even get XP for doing this. I just noticed we weren't getting it. Yeah. Alright. Let's just hit it with Maelstrom. It's super effective. And then there's no real point in doing that, so let's just, just harden it up. Yeah, Tarbo Tarbo is cool. I wish he wasn't a two percent chance to be dug up. <laughs> yeah. Like I get it, you need to have rare ones, but hot damn, dude, like I don't think I've ever found a Tarbo head in the first Hot Spiders game. Really? It's a two percent chance in the first dig area, and it's like they give you Spinax, who's the same element. So it's like I'm not that motivated to bother looking. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm more of a completionist, so I would. Yeah. You. Yeah. Not for streaming, but. It's just like you know they give you they give you Spinax, and then if like you really don't want to use Spinax or whatever, Shan Shan's in the same area. Obviously, they're you know they're different. They, they're, but it's like they're the, they cover the same element. Mm -hmm. So it's like early on, you're like. Fuck it, why am I bothering? Yeah. I tried for a couple hours and gave up. Yeah, I don't blame you, dude. I still don't know if that 2% chance like me and Titan have referenced is actually accurate, but I just remember reading that on like a Game Facts thing a million years ago, and I've just been going off of that ever since. God, Game Facts, I haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, it's still around. People still make guides on games and shit. It's just, you know. A lot of a lot of games these days have like their own dedicated shit or like like Zelda Dungeon, or you find YouTube videos instead. Yeah. Pasta time. Pasta what time. kind of pasta? What kind of sauce? <laughs> Give me the thing that pasta needs. Seriously. You tried what? Like, just, like, going for Tarbo. Like, just looking for Tarbo in the first fucking dig site. I want to say he's actually also a rare encounter in the first f f site of champions as well. I think... He might be in charge of like, I don't remember. I just want something quick and simple to be able to butter and salt, basic, but why complain if it's good? Damn right, man. Yeah. People people shit on pasta with just regular butter, but dude, it's still good. 
Yeah, that's the best. He is. He is? Okay. I forgot about that rarest I got with Seismo and the ship and bottoms up bay. Oh, yeah. He's actually DLC. Oh, is he? Okay. Hey, Kai, how you doing? You can find this guy. Wait, is he? I thought DLC only added, like, the legendaries from this game. And also that one other brand new one that we don't talk about because it's a spoiler, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, the, the, uh, the vegan one. What? If that don't make sense, we do. That don't make sense when we do champions. This dude is capping. <laughs> oh, shit, okay. Also unlock the special area on the first dig site. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he probably is in the... Okay, yeah. Cyclone. I really hope when um, we do champions, I'm able to show off the DLC. Because, like, I don't know if there's even action replay codes to, like, make it turn on. Because I don't know if it's, like, Pokemon where it's, like, on the thing and it just needs, like, a flag. Or if it's, mm -hmm. like, is actually added. Um... Okay, we are getting XP. Cool. Nice. Mega was max level. I did it! Mom, Dad, I did it. I know there's, um... There... I see it floating around the False Fighters Reddit is, like, a, a fully completed save file of Champions with the DLC added. So, obviously, I could just show off the DLC after we finish that game. Because it's... You know. It, it's just extra shit, obviously. But that's what, like, put everything into a battle. And still lose. I don't say this very often. I'm impressed. Five matches in a row against me. Good work. I'm a fighter of my words. So there's the mask right off my head. Use it well. Oh, no. Oh, my guy Star's gonna take his mask off. We're finally gonna see the true face of Sorehead. Watch him be a mole person. Oh, my God. That'd be amazing. Here, you've earned it. Rawr. We got the Sore mask. That's Sorehead? What? Under the mask is another mask? <laughs> uh, what, you need a mask for Dr. Diggins too? That's fair. You pull a pretty spectacular victory today, so here's another one. Sorry, gonna take his mask off again. His, his other mask. This time we'll really see Sarge's true face. We got another Sora mask. <laughs> huh? What's going on? I wear about 30 masks at a time. <laughs> Can't be Why? too careful with your identity. Why? Sorry, it's the best, but you see around a couple of those masks, but he still does it. I'm surprised we can understand the fucker, to be honest. Yeah. So we don't ever see his head? Nope, that's just sore head. I hate it. All right. Me, when you guys come to visit Wisconsin, we'll be with pilot helmets. I what? hope he suffocates. Oh, my God. All right. That is a perfect note for us to hop on intermission on, because it's about 90 minutes. We'll be back in a few. Y'all vibe, grab a snack, grab some fucking water, and when we return, it'll be time to fucking go to space, I guess. We'll be back.